Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Tuesday, February the 9th. We are getting ready to head out. Actually, Josh just left to drop Emily off the piano, um, and he's gonna come back, and then we're all gonna leave. Um, Tuesdays are our busy days, and he's actually off today. It's kind of rainy and sprinkly outside today, so he's gonna be with us today. <laughs> um, but anyway, we just got several things to do today. Kylie's got violin at 2.45. I have grocery pickup at 3. I'll show y'all that haul when we get home. I have to run into Hobby Lobby. Kylie's got to pick up her friend a gift um, that she's going to her house this weekend. Let's see what else. I think, oh, Josh wants to get his hair cut today. So we just have like a lot of things on our to-do list today to do while we're out. So that is what we're doing today. Hmm? For my dates until I'm getting ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> and she is counting down the dates until Friday when sissies go to the friend's house. I'm taking them out for ice cream. So she's counting down the days for that. So how many days we have now? Um, Three more days? Okay, but anyway, y'all, I have never owned an air fryer ever. Um, but I actually purchased one for myself. I really am liking all the reviews and all the like recipes you can try in it and how simple and how easy. Especially since we don't have a microwave anymore, it's gonna be really convenient just to reheat food in it. Um, so I got myself an air fryer. I didn't know which one to go with. Um, I went with one of the one like least expensive because um, they can get all up there like $200. I think the one I got was $79 or $89. It's a five and a half quart. I'm gonna show you which one I got real quick. So I got the Ninja. Um, this one had really good reviews. The air fryer max extra large i got the extra large since we're a big family um and you'll see it has several different things that it can do it can dehydrate reheat bake air broil air roast air fry and max crisp so like lots of options here um i've already got a recipe that i'm picking up at grocery pickup today that i'm going to be trying in at first it's this cute little heart um, made out of like pie shell and you just put Nutella and strawberries in it anyway I'm going to try to show that to y'all and we're going to put it in the air fryer and see how it turns out my girls love Nutella and strawberries so I know they're going to love this recipe but this is it outside of the box um, I love it and it's just going to fit under our counters perfectly and take up less room than a microwave and um, you can see it's got pretty good bit of room there or if you had a smaller family you wouldn't need one quite as big but I went with the larger one so yeah, I'm super excited to use this. All right, so I put it over here on this counter where my coffee maker is. And unfortunately, it does not like slide all the way up under the counter. The vent there catches it. But I think it's gonna be fine sitting just like that um, with some room behind it anyway because I'm gonna need it closer to be able to pull this out anyway. So I'm just gonna let it sit here in the corner of the counter. And yes, you did. She fixed that up for me. I gotta wash these pieces Oops, before I put it together. And while we're gone all day, I have a roast in here cooking. So this will be cooking all day while we're gone, and that's going to be good. And I'll probably do something in the air fryer as a side. I just haven't decided what. And then we have like um, either green beans, mac and cheese, something on the a couple of sides with it. So we are at a grocery pickup. Josh is, Josh is help loading the groceries in the back right now. Kelly's at my land. We've been in the car for a while, so it's getting crazy back there. Excuse that. Um, but I went in Hobby Lobby. Um, they've got some really cute spring things there. I didn't buy anything in the spring things or anything, but they got some cute spring things out. Kelly just had to get her friend a birthday gift. Um, and then I went to Starbucks. I actually wanted a coffee. I haven't been wanting a set cup of coffee a whole lot this pregnancy, but I did. I got the vanilla cold brew foam. It was so good, like really good. Um, now we're getting our groceries. We're gonna go pick Kylie up and we're gonna head home and get all these groceries unloaded and get all these kids unloaded. They're getting car crazy and ready to get out of this car. I see your sucker. Um, they all do have a piece of gum that you want. I got them some gum while I was in Hobby Lobby, but anyway. We're gonna head home soon. All right, y'all, so we are back home now. It turned out to be a very warm day out there. Like, it's sun shining. It'll kind of give you spring fever because it's pretty warm out there. So anyway, the girls are outside. There's one right there. They're outside, and I'm gonna show y'all what I get grocery pickup. Then we're gonna get all these things put away. I've got a roast that's been cooking all day. I'm gonna figure out some sides to do with it. But I'm gonna show y'all what I got first. 
All right, so starting off, of course, our four gallons of milk. I got one of these pie crusts. I'm gonna be using this to make those little Nutella and strawberry bites in the air fryer. So I got that. I got two creamers. I got one caramel and one hazelnut. Um, another bag of bagels. Cereal, fruit and yogurt, special K, vanilla almond, and then the two honey -os. Some more of these thick and fluffy waffles. These are personally my favorite. And then I got some blueberry waffles. And then this is Josh's favorite coffee. It's the 1850 uh, Folgers K-Cups. And then y'all know mine's the caramel drizzle, but they were out of stock. So I guess if they're out of stock, my next favorite would be the hazelnut. So that's why I got the hazelnut creamer. They're both really good together. I got two loaves of bread, um, some cookie dough to make some sugar cookies, a big thing of peanut butter, vanilla yogurt, sugar, peanut butter crackers, two boxes of yogurt raisins. And then y'all, look at all the pizza options I got. Okay, so this week, instead of getting pizza out, we're just gonna do this heat up pizza. And Fallon over at Moss Family TV has been talking about these Motor City pizzas and how really good they are, or heard of them. So I picked up cheese, supreme, and pepperoni for us to do on our on our pizza night. So I will let y'all know what we think of them as well. So I'm excited to try these. And then I just got some of these little ones to stick in the freezer, maybe for lunch or just quick heat up. Um, lots of popcorn options for our Friday night. I do have some uh, kettle corn in the pantry, but I just got some of these bag of popcorns. Um, so I got several different options of popcorn, some potato chips, and then some kettle cooked barbecue chips. A can of Pringles, chicken nuggets. I'll be trying these in the air fryer one day this week. Some more granola for our yogurt, um, mac and cheese, a big thing of garlic bread, some more of these quick heat up rolls for dinner to stick in the freezer, some more green beans, some big cans of green beans, um, rice, Josh's green tea to pack for work. Um, Kelly needed this for one of her science experiments. Actually, it's just um, this clear sugar sweetener, some extra virgin olive oil spray, strawberries, bananas, and then a pineapple. I got two things of Nutella. This is for our little air fryer recipe. Um, I got some kisses for Josh. That's his favorite candy. Um, this little box of chocolate. And then I got some more of these little, these little heart cutters. I know that I already have some, but I got these. Um, this will be good to do with like the cookie dough that we're gonna be fixing the uh, sugar cookies. I got a few more Valentine's plates while they had them. And then just some regular paper plates. And then moving over to household, I got the kids some floss. Um, these are little sticks. Kylie's gonna try to make some like cake pops, I think, so she needed some sticks to do that with. More toothpaste. We're running low on toothpaste and deodorant and things like that. Um, the girls were all out of their Flintstone vitamins. Dove deodorant, my favorite seventh generation uh, cleaner. The more baby Dove. This is the kind that I wash uh, Natalie in because she she has eczema. It has gotten better over the last couple of years, um, but this seems to help her more than just some regular soap. So I always get her the baby Dove eczema. Pull-ups because she is fully potty trained. Um, I do like to stick a pull-up on her at night though, just in case, just until we're completely comfortable with overnight. And then some more of my favorite shampoo, the Aussie. I was buying the Dove, but y'all, that Dove was making my hair feel so slick. I like halfway through the day so yeah i went back to this my favorite but yeah that is it that is what i got at walmart grocery pickup now i'm trying to decide what i want to do i think i want to just maybe do some maybe roasted potatoes on the side um i'm not sure i need to figure out something to do with this roast here maybe some rice some rice and roast would be good tonight not sure but while they're having fun outside i'm gonna get all this put away all right so i've got some potatoes that i have chopped up here i am just going to stick them in a bowl Pop them with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and maybe a little bit of paprika, and stick them in my air fryer. This is the first time ever using an air fryer, so I hope it turns out good. We'll see.
So here is how the air fryer potatoes turn out. They look super crispy. It actually got done a little bit under 20 minutes, like 19. It, it could have even been 18 minutes. Um, we've already tasted them. They are super delicious. They just need a little bit more salt. And they're gonna be really good, like dipped in ketchup. So good. So I highly recommend uh, potatoes in the air fryer. Okay y'all, so it is 7.42 p.m. Dinner was great. Everything tasted wonderful. Um, I actually came out of the house all by myself. You can see the empty van behind me. If you're a mom, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about right now, but do you ever like, feel like you like really need to get out of the house for a few minutes just to be in the quiet? Somebody keeps revving up over there. Um, you just wanna be in the quiet for a few minutes and then you leave and then you feel guilty for feeling that way. Or is that just me? So I was like, okay, I need to leave just for a few minutes because I am just like, oh, I need some quiet. Just a few minutes out of the house, just to sit in the quiet, take a deep breath, pray. And then I leave and I'm like, man, I shouldn't have thought that. I shouldn't have wanted to leave. Anybody else ever feel that way or is it just me? So what I came to do, so exciting. I am sitting in Lowe's parking lot, uploading my video because they have fast internet here and honestly just sitting in the quiet that's all i'm doing is just sitting here in the quiet i'm gonna head back home here in just a few minutes and we're gonna start our bedtime routine like we normally do but it was nice just to have 20 to 30 minutes out of the house in the quiet to breathe and pray i'm not sure what was going on this evening but they were like being more wild than normal in the evenings i know like evenings are like a crazy time for all families for some reason but like they were being like extra wild i was in the living room and it sounded like their room was literally going to fall apart like they were remodeling in there i'm thankful for josh because anytime i feel overwhelmed like this he allows me time out of the house just to just to take a little breather so i'm thankful for that so anyway i really hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog if you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll talk to you later bye